Hi everyone, uh, we see you again. Now we need to go is a uh, discussion for the exercise for 6.2. So hopefully you are finished. So today I will show you the answer. So let's see here. Okay, first one we see the this one I call it to match. Okay, match the following terms with the correct uh, definition. Okay, let's see the first one, synovial fluid. Okay, remember this one? This one they uh, as a uh, replicate. Okay, replicate like smooth. Make something when you movement they become the smooth one. So we find it a uh, replicate that reduce the friction. So this one is the answer. Okay, tendon. We can see the tendon. Tendon the function that's a uh, flexible and also inelastic. Okay, connective tissue. So from here the answer is the last one. Okay, cartilage. Okay, connection tissue. They found in the many areas, the body such as a joint between the bones. Okay, the one we call it, there's a cartilage. Okay, then the ligament. Ligament is a short band. Okay, or you can say there's a tough, flexible. Okay, after that, the connective tissue, the which connected the bone, or you say cartilage, or you hold together a joint. So this one we call ligament. Okay, then we go to the next one. Okay, let's see the next one. This one is a, the label, the human glove. Okay, let's see the curve. Okay, the pattern. Okay, first one when 2 until 10. This one we call it as a childhood. Okay, after that this one we call adolescent. Then the third part is the adulthood. And the last one when you see the graph. Okay, they go downwards already. This one is a uh, OH. Okay, now we're going to see the label. Okay, let's see the down one. Can you see the dotted line? Dotted line, that one is a female. Okay, the line is a full one, that one is a male. Okay, so that one in your notes already. Now we go to the next one. Okay, let's see this part. You need to fill in the blank. Okay, they give you the choose already. Okay, blind, bind the bond to bond. Okay, bond to bond. That one is a ligament. Okay, now it's reduce the friction between the two bone during movement reduce the friction okay the name was that about replicant is it okay replicant this one feel with the gravity joint okay here synovia we're going to see ah huh? okay this one is reduce the friction between where they show okay this part they show this part this part actually is what there's a cartilage okay this part is a cartilage Okay, how about the bottom one? Okay, they show the part, the connective tissue. They bind the muscle to the bone. That one is a tendon. That one is a tendon. Okay, oh, sorry. D is a tendon. C is a synovia free Because they feel with the gravity to the joint. Act as a rupicane. So this one is a synovia free Last one is a tendon. Okay, then we go through to the next one. Okay, this one they need to underline. Okay, complete the sentence by underline. Okay, the first part, they're bending the action of the arm. Another one is straighten. Okay, when you bend it, okay, remember we got two muscle. In front one, they were called bicep. Behind one called tricep. So when you want to bend your arm, bicep must be contract. Because you want to bend it. Okay, which one you're using? You're touching about the radius. Okay, now the radius will be pull up. Okay, move upwards. Then after that, how about the tricep? Tricep is a relaxed part. Relaxed part means they become uh, longer. Okay, become longer. So this one is the answer. Contract, radius, then relaxing. Okay, when they straighten. Let's see the straighten, what happened? Straighten means the by tricep first. They mentioned about the tricep. Tricep also is a contract. Okay, now the book part is a bottom part bottom part is the owner now the owner they go behind okay pull go backwards downwards then after that the bicep will become relaxing okay this one's the answer then we go to question number one for the human uh, glove pattern row pattern okay now the first part they ask you what means by the human growth Okay, human growth is a process to change what? Change the size, change the body shape, change the weight, uh, so many things. The number of the cell for the human. Now we're going to see the answer. Okay, size. You can talk about the size. 
can talk about body shape, you can talk about the weight, you can talk about number of the cell, and the last one is body function. Okay, in the human. Now we need to take the characteristic they use to measure the growth. Which part we can measure? We exactly we can measure. Function of the body we cannot measure. Okay, height, yes, the height we can measure. Okay, number of the cell, how to measure so many in your body. So that means that not exactly the answer. We want the thing is exactly we can measure by using the instrument. Okay, example, there's a height and also the weight. Okay, these two we can measure. Then next one, reason and body can be measured. What and what can be measured? The answer is weight and also the height. Then the next one, we're going to see the, again, human uh, glow. Now we're going to see the part P. Part P is a, okay, part P is 0 to 3. They want the age. So that one is an infancy. Okay, now we're going to see the 3 until 13. This one we call it as a childhood. Okay, then the 13 to 20, we got it as a adolescent. Okay, then 20 until 65. This part is a adulthood. Then, when you find it, the part T, they go down. The curve go negative. That one, we call it as a OH. Okay. Then, we continue with the next question. Okay. On the above diagram, label the state. We finished already. Now, we need to do is a question B. Based on the given graph, state the growth rate of the human for the different state. Okay, P. P is the first part. There's a, uh, there's a, a well, uh, the first part we call it, uh, is a, we're going to see back. Okay, the first part is uh, infancy, is it? So, infancy, there's a half. Choose from here. Glow, slow, or negative, or you say the rapid grow or the minima. So, the answer when infancy should be the rapid. Okay, grow faster one. Q. When you go to the Q, there's a childhood, you slow down a little bit. So this time we call slow growth. Okay, until R. R is your adolescent. That means the female and male. Now you start to develop. So the R should be rapid growth again. Okay, but until S. S already is as doubt. And doubt means you are slow down. Okay, maybe they call it as a minima, pertumpuhan minimum. You still got growth, but less, very, very less. This time we call minimal growth. Last part, that's an OH. OH, we don't have any glow already. We call it as a negative, negative glow. Okay, then we're going to see, in your opinion, why is there a loss of the body height uh, until your age is 65 above? Lah. So they say body, what break down more quickly, then formation a new. Okay, the answer is the body tissue. Okay, the tissue, they break down more quickly then the formation of the new tissue that means you not yet build the tissue but another tissue already start to break down so that means you fight it the development becomes slow when slow that means you cannot increase your growth so that means we call it as a negative growth okay for your adult you still got because when your tissue finish break down the new one will continuous but oh maybe the formation becomes slow and slow okay then we go to the this part they want you to choose correct answer okay let's see the zero to four there's an infancy okay we need to compare about the growth of the male and female actually that's the same during the infancy that's the same okay four to twelve years okay this part the male will be grow rapid Okay, the male will grow rapid. Okay, 13 to 15 are uh, this one that will reverse. The female will grow rapid. Okay, last, then go 16 to 20, they become the uh, still childhood. Okay, but this part, we find it the boy, the man, will be increase the high, increase the weight. So this one we call it there's a grow in the male is more rapid. Okay, so this four part also still got growing. Lah. Okay, then we go to the B. Okay, the they ask you in your opinion, why are the male is taller than the female? 
at the adulthood state 20 years and also above above okay the period of the growth in the male is more than bigger okay higher than the female longer okay we can say female not higher longer maybe until that part maybe until 15 16 okay then the female stop already but the male they still grow until 20 the one should be longer okay now explain the higher growth rate of the female than the growth rate of the male between 13 to 15 okay why why the female will grow faster okay the reason is female achieve the puberty earlier compared to the male okay now we're going to see number six okay with the help given the diagram you need to complete the following sentences by explain the structure of a joint okay let's see the structure of the joint okay so from here the joint is the place where the bone they meet another bone so this one is the joint okay now the sin uh, the synovial fluid as a rubricant they want to reduce what reduce the friction between the bone okay as a rubricant after that reduce the friction Okay, now the cartilage wrap the end of the bone to reduce, also reduce the friction. Okay, cartilage friction here. Okay, they just want to wrapping the end of the bone, then reduce the friction. Okay, and also they absorb the shock. Okay, when suddenly you got heat, okay, bone and bone heat together, so this one absorb the shock. Okay, ligament is a strong, flexible elastic that join bone together so after that elastic that means the connective tissue that join the bone together to allow to allow what to allow the movement bone at the joint okay so this one should be the answer for the fin the blank okay now we complete again the table comparison male and female okay let's see the infancy growth rate between the birth that's a three years old so this part we find it there's a how rapid growth is it so there's a rapid growth okay how about childhood childhood is but steady growth rate okay what should be the same okay the same is the slower now cannot rapid because slower already okay but still got differences the growth of the male should be higher than female okay during the childhood Okay, male higher than female. Okay, how about adolescent? Now you see adolescent. Okay, grow rate during puberty. This one is a rapid grow rate. Grow faster already. Okay, then we're going to see this part. Grow rate of the, uh, when starting earlier, female must be exit over to the male. But later, later should be the male exit to the female. Okay, female first, then later is the male. Okay, then we go to adult. Adult actually we can say there's a glow minimal already. We say glow slowly. Okay, less and stop. Man. Slowly, they say less and stop some more. That means don't have any growth. Okay, how about the OH? OH, we just said there's a negative. Okay, then don't have any glow, never mind. There's still negative. Then what is the OH? So, okay, everybody. Okay, my lesson is finished already. I give you all the exercise. The answer should be here. So make sure you mark your use your pen to mark your answer. Then after that, if you're wrong, please you write the correct answer at the beside. Do the correction. Okay, every student. So make sure you understand what I'm talking about. Thank you for your listen. Okay, thank you for watching. <music>